Welcome to New River Fine Art. I'm Lisa Burgess, and today we're with Jennifer Jones discussing her exhibition, Echoes of Elysium, which opens March 7th and runs through April 7th. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Great, thank you. You've done a wonderful show for us, that's for sure. Um, the upcoming exhibition, Echoes of Elysium, promises to be an immersive odyssey into the transcendental. Can you tell us about the inspiration behind the title? Absolutely. Um, well, all of my work is based on nature, inspired by nature, and this has been a particularly personal uh, look into the spiritual realm as well as um, the journey that I'm taking in my life. Um, it echoes a self-portrait, um, also of time, and um, I've, I really have a lot of... Uh, layers that that happen within the work and echoing my mid 50s <laughs> i'm not the quite there yet i but... know the loss of your father weighed heavily on you yes does that come into play in this exhibition absolutely um the loss of my father uh affected me very deeply um he was one of my biggest fans if not the biggest uh and i re i recognized within that loss that it echoed the depth of love that I had. And so this series, really, this whole collection really is a mirror of that depth. Uh, it's all about loss, it's about love, it's about timing, it's about life and death and all of these things and the seasons that it echoes within. So the themes of relationship, personal growth uh, and evolution are, have always been central to your work. Um, how do you approach these deeply personal yet universal subjects? Mm. I'm usually coming into the studio with uh, an energy, a feeling in mind, okay. um, and I usually and I'll explore that um, depending on the color palette, what type of gestures I'm I'm going for, um, and it usually echoes if something's complicated or if I'm feeling peaceful uh, and. A lot of that will, will come into different plays of the piece. I recently said to you, sometimes you whisper, sometimes you shout, sometimes you sing, yes. and it's all reflective in, Absolutely. in the work that you do. Yes. Um, your use of color is both <laughs> deliberate and deeply emotive. How did you approach the palette for Echoes of Elysium? Mm. There's a lot of floral element into this particular series, and um, that certainly comes into it. I was also very inspired by birds. Uh, oh, I had I don't know that I had mentioned that um, originally, uh, but it was a lot of the light that takes place and a lot of the colorings of the different uh, feathers. Um, so, and they really echo for me life and movement. Um, and we'll start to see some of these feathers coming up in different parts of the paintings. So the centerpiece, Odyssey, uh, is a stunning exploration of chromatic splendor. Um, tell us a little bit about the genesis of this piece. Mm. So this was one of the first pieces for the show that I completed, and it was really uh, my orchestra, my orchestration, um, and the whole idea of the journeys that we take in life. Um, also the repeated seasons that we go through all the time uh, in life and how that brings us from sorrow and darkness to fun and joy and everything in between. And that's basically what the Odyssey is to me. So well, it's, it's, you use the word symphony. I'll, I'll say this is your crescendo. <laughs> yes. So, um, looking at specific pieces like uh, Perrin or Kalish, um, there is a vivid interplay mm. of both chaos and beauty, uh, wild and tame, light and shadow. Um, can you elaborate on that process? Mm. So there's so many, we have so many layers to us and our, the different things that we're experiencing in life. And so that's really what these pieces are, are doing. And so um, Kalish is a winter piece, the winter goddess. And uh, it's, you know, dramatic and cold, and yet um, another piece near near it may be the spring thaw, uh, full of color and life. And so, I really wanted to con use that as contrast 
throughout the series. And in those particular pieces, um, I wanted them to be bold. So. <laughs> so art often serves as a mirror into the artist's soul and conversely into the viewer's soul when they look at it. Um, in what ways has the creation of Echoes of Elysium been transformative for you? Mm. It's brought me a maturity uh, in my work. Uh, I have a different confidence uh, when I'm approaching my paintings now. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's, it's actually, um, it's bringing more inspiration to me uh, in, a, in, a, in a new way. So I'm really excited to see where that's going to go. So inspiration feeds inspiration. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> With Echoes of Elysium being a call to the depths of spirit, Mm. Um, what is, what's the core message that you'd like viewers to take away from this show? The biggest thing I would like for them to take away is the feeling of joy and hope and healing and exploration, curiosity. <laughs> well, if you'd like to explore any of that, mm -hmm. don't miss Echoes of Elysium at New River Fine Art. It runs March 7th to April 7th. We look forward to seeing you here.